Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Nathan and I are very excited to continue our road to Roseland, the live DVD. I bought the DVD, Nathan. It's coming via Amazon to my front door. I have purchased Beyonce merchandise. I'm so excited. I have purchased. Wow. I know, it's like legit. That's a big deal. Uh, it is a big deal, and I'm really excited. And what we're doing, folks, is we're listening to the songs prior to that live performance. We're going to listen to the studio songs on that album that she'll be singing on that concert. Because I think she sings every song from that album live. Except for one mm -hmm. song. There's one that she doesn't sing. I can't remember which one it was. It's one we've already reacted to, but she actually doesn't sing according to the track list on the DVD. She doesn't sing it. But mm -hmm. So this song, Nathan, is called Start Over. Uh, Nathan, would you like to have a little bit of history about this song? Yes, Ryan. I would <laughs> Nathan, You know what? You know, you know what? No. <laughs> People <laughs> were mad at you, Nathan. <laughs> that you shut me down. There are artists that we've done on our channel where when Ryan does the spiel of the looking things up and da, da 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 people actually get mad at us for that. And it comes up quite often where people are like, I just skipped the part where you guys talk and go right to, like people have actually said that. It's kind of nice to hear the comments on the other side. That's kind of like, we like the part where you give us the information or where you look up or talk about the information. We like that. We want more of it. So thank you. That was the only reason why I interjected on that previous video. Yes, that's um, true. So don't, yeah, yeah, go easy on Nathan. And he's right. Nathan was kind of retroactively responding to criticism that we've received regarding other artists where people are like, stop talking and just get to mm. the song. So Nathan, here's a little bit of background about the song that might allow us to enjoy the song a little bit more. Start Over is a song recorded by Beyonce for her album Four. It's a mid-tempo R&B pop ballad. It finds Beyonce singing about wanting to revive a struggling relationship rather than end it. Here's some criticism, not criticism, but yeah, music critics. So some music critics had mixed reviews of the song. Mm. Some felt it was too similar to Beyonce's previous work and that it didn't stand out on the album. However, others have praised her powerful vocals and the raw emotion she conveyed. Hmm. The song did not receive an official single release, but it charted in South Korea based on downloads. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> so overall, Start Over seems to be a deeply personal song for Beyonce about the difficulties of maintaining a long-term relationship and her willingness to work through problems rather than give up. There's a little bit of background. Oh, we should also say thank you for the wonderful comments. I know Nathan doesn't read a lot of the YouTube comments, so we understand that Beyonce doesn't always sing about her relationships and songs mm. so much mm. as about what people would or could experience in relationships. Mm. So not every song is about her. We know that. Yeah. Okay. Not till we get to Lemonade, apparently. Oh, boy. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Well, without further ado, we've done enough talking. You can see now people are like, okay, guys, stop talking. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's it <laughs> to the part where you bop your heads.
surprised by the mixed reviews i'm trying to figure out why they're mixed because i really enjoyed the arrangement oh really uh, okay yeah. are you on the mixed side is that what I'm no to... i'm not oh, okay. i just understand it okay yeah. okay well yeah i'll, I'll, I'll want to hear why you thought after of course i really like well yes i love her vocal work in the song she has this uh oh incredible vibrato. i love when she was singing that Oh, the chorus is amazing her vocals in the chorus yeah. in the chorus <laughs> the chorus <laughs> those chorus the way that they played those katoruses. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I'd have no trouble finding Beyonce's katorus. Okay, Nathan, would oh, you? Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. As long as she lets me look. Stop. Okay, Nathan, no, the, the, would, you just, would you stop? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, st- I'm trying to tell you to stop. You want me to stop telling you to stop? <laughs> okay. What was I saying? <laughs> Anyways, her... Uh, I love her vocal work in the chorus. I like when she does this. I don't know how to describe it because I'm not a vocal coach. I don't know what the words are. Those stupid vocal coaches with their 150,000 views. Every time they open their freaking mouth and just say, these person can sing because they're using their throat here and their chest here. Anyways, it's like a warbly sound. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it <clears> does this like <sighs> wave form or something when she sings. And I just really like how she was doing that in that chorus. And then, of course, in the bridge, when she went really high, her vocal mm-hmm. was high. And then she kicks in with, like, starts singing the final chorus of that. And it just kicks in. This is a really anthem, anthem, how do you say the word? Anth- and uh, There's lots uh, of ways to say it. Just say it however you want. I've heard so many song, different ways. Uh, yeah. Anth- this song has a great anthem. Or anthem yeah. Anthem like yeah. or whatever. Anthem like. This song has a great anthem. No, mm-hmm. be curious to hear why you think it might be mixed by some people. But I really enjoyed this song. I'm going to give this song four. Out of five bootylicious claps. <laughs> Let's just start with why I think people, why those critics said what they said. I can see as far as the lyrics go, there's nothing new here. There's nothing kind of like, whoa, wow, that's so crafty. However, you can't deny how passionate she is in those vocals. We can't even see her, right? All we've got is this image of her. I can imagine her like just putting everything into singing that. She has that ability with her her voice to throw everything in. Like I, I wonder at the end of the day after she's sung a song like this, is she just like spent? Because she sure feels like she's just putting every ounce of energy into singing these songs. That's the part that, that wins me over regardless. Because I'm, I'm a lyric guy. I love great lyrics. There's nothing really like, whoa, this is, I mean, but it's, it's still relatable. It's not, it's not overly cliche. There's a few parts that are probably a little bit, but not overly. I can push that aside easily with the quality of, of her vocals. For me, that felt a little more like pop rock, like you said, anthem rock. The critics that went and just chalked it up to like, meh, simple lyrics. I get why people don't like it when when that happens. So uh, just my, yeah, I came to that all by myself. I did it by myself. That's great. All right, everyone. (laughs) Thank you so much. We loved it. I love it. Again, I'm looking forward to watching her perform this live. I just want to get familiar with the song. I know people are saying, yeah, watch it live. We still get people in the comments who are saying stuff. I love how a lot of our Beyonce, not fans of us, of course, but they watch our channel, Nathan. But they have been very good about correcting those newcomers and saying, did you watch the video? They have explained it multiple times. So, yes, we are watching the Roseland live DVD. It's going to happen one day, folks. I mean, we're working Mm. towards that. So stick around. We're getting to it, folks. All right. It's coming. It's coming soon. Thanks, everyone. And we'll see you on the next one.